video, I thought we'd take a look at the proposed enclosure. And I had a couple of different designs. This was the first design, uh, which featured a couple of doors that would slide over each other so that I could access either the left or the right side of the enclosure. And you can see that there's windows in the side and in the door and then the back is just solid. The pan angled from the outside towards the center on each side. Pretty straightforward simple design. The only difference being that I added a tray in the center here and this was to collect and kind of stick a bucket up under there and just be able to kind of scrape out the chips for easy clean out and then the drain would be in the pan. I located this at the front which is up under actually the Y stepper motor and after a couple of conversations with Chad uh, we decided that maybe it's better to put it on the right hand side and so I redesigned the enclosure. So let's take a look at the final revision. And as you can see, we I kind of redesigned the whole thing. So let's take a look first at the the pan. So the pan I, as you can see, I stuck the tray over here on the right-hand side, but I left the clean out. So now you can scoop everything and just kind of move it across and then stick a bucket up under the right-hand side here, and you'll be able to clean out more easily, I think. Also, I've angled from the outside on the left hand side here toward the center but on the right hand side it is angled from the back toward the front and also from the side toward the center so it's got a compound angle on the right hand side here and that's the direct flow down toward the center and down towards the opening. The base is not quite high enough for what I need so I'm just putting a 3 inch by 3 inch square tubing uh, riser. I don't know if I'll have it located on the top of the base or actually put it underneath the bottom. I'm still kind of debating that but regardless it'll be a 3 inch riser. And the pan is 16 gauge sheet metal. It's 8 inches from the center here to this edge. And then this edge is folded 3 quarter inches and then 3 quarter inches tall. And that is so that the panel can sit on there on this ledge. The panels are 20 gauge sheet metal and they have this 3 quarter inch edge on them as well and that serves a couple of purposes. It's going to be push this out flush and also give me a flange here to bolt the panels together. Also as a bonus I thought I might be able to put some 3 quarter inch foam board in here for some sound deadening. So that's, that's another added feature. This tray here will have a drain in it and also a, a perforated piece of sheet metal will cover it just to kind of keep uh, the big chips out. And it will be able to slide out for easy clean out. Um, the side panels, there will be two in the back. And again, this nice flange here so I can bolt them together. And then the left side and the right side are 
tapered slightly from the back towards the front. I borrowed this design here from Cliff Hall. He has a nice compact CNC enclosure he did for his Tormach. I really liked the overall design. It's an open top design, but it leaves it leaves the front here open so that you can have access to work on the mule. Uh, I then we're going to have a left and a right panel. Now these panels are hinged and these hinges I'll make but they're basically just dowels and the top one will go inside the bottom one and what, what you'll do is you'll lift the panel up over the ledge here and you'll be able to swing this out toward the side and open this up. Now these panels have a built-in sheet metal rectangle here and that is to mount a couple of plexiglass doors, polycarbonate actually, and they'll be on slides so they'll slide completely open and you'll have a 30 inch access to the mill and then like I said once they're slid open, you can actually lift these side panels up about three quarters of an inch and then swing them open. And that will give you 60 inches of access to the mill. Overall, I think the design uh, is going to work well for the Precision Matthews. I originally thought that I would have a full enclosed enclosure. And if I need to, for sound reasons, uh, later on I can build a foam top to kind of finish this out. And that will give me uh, some sound deadening. Now, I decided that with this enclosure, I decided that I was going to uh, visit a local sheet metal shop and get an estimate on the panels and the pan and the tray. Instead of trying to do it myself, um, I just wanted to kind of see where it was at. The local sheet metal shop gave me a great price on all this. It really wasn't uh, a lot more than the price of the sheet metal, so I just went ahead and had them make this up. And I should have it in a couple of weeks. Hopefully I can get the mail put into its final location, get the enclosure on, and actually start using it to machine some parts. But I think overall it's going to turn out real nice. Uh, I plan on having a rollout toolbox on this side to keep uh, parts, bits, end mills, tool holders, that sort of thing. And then on the right hand side the control cabinet and also uh, the coolant pump. Uh, haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with the flood coolant yet but that'll be housed on the left side as, or excuse me on the right side. So the overall dimensions on the enclosure here are 59 and a half inches wide uh, from the center bottom of the pan to the top of the front here is 36 inches uh, from the top of the back to the bottom center of the pan is 40 inches and the sides the width is 34 inches. I think it's going to be a real nice pan. I haven't seen anyone do the clean out tray idea before. Um, I'll let you know how that works out in reality. I'm hoping it's going to work just fine. The cutout is going to have some edges that are kind of folded down so that it will drip in the pan and not run up under the mill uh, pan. It'll drip down inside the tray. It'll have like a drip edge. So hopefully it's going to work out really well. Um, I'm sending this out to a sheet metal shop, a local sheet metal shop. I kind of priced the sheet metal. Um, I don't really have the break needed for this width and so 
I was going to have to try to improvise or go see Chad in Tennessee, uh, which is a couple hours away. And we were going to kind of work together and build a couple of these. But uh, it looks like the price that came in on the quote for all the sheet metal work, plus the cost of the sheet metal, was just a little more than what we were going to have to pay to actually get the sheet metal ourselves. So let a professional handle it, and hopefully I'll get a nice enclosure out of the deal. Uh, you guys know me, know that I'm fairly frugal and cheap, but I decided with this enclosure just to farm it out. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment.